Today's a plant adventure day. And I actually love these videos because I never know what to expect. I just randomly choose a nursery. I usually just Google somewhere around wherever I happen to be at the time. And I'll pick a nursery or greenhouse and hope that they have cool tropical plants, hopefully some rare and uncommon ones. And then I just film and vlog as I go and we see what they have in stock. So today is one called Zen Botanicals. I've never been there. I actually heard about them from somebody in the plant community who saw me plant shopping, we got to chatting and they're like, if you're ever in town again, like definitely check out Zen Botanicals. So that's where I'm going. And if you like plant stuff, um, if you wanna subscribe, episodes will show up in your newsfeed, which will be awesome. I post about at least once a week, always planty stuff. And we also have a great community on Instagram and I'll share my haul at the end of the video um, if I um, end up purchasing anything. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that they have some good stuff there. Plant adventure days are always a fun time. So um, I'm excited. Just a quick reminder, there is a way to purchase some of these amazing plants that I find while I am plant shopping. I have partnered up with one of my favorite local plant shops in Charlotte, North Carolina called Cactus Club. They have amazing plants listed on their website and they also are terrific at shipping. I've included a link in my description and a very small portion does go towards supporting my channel. So thank you so much as always for your support. All right, so let's go check out Zen Botanicals and I'll be sharing my haul again at the end of the video. So I've just walked in and this place is amazing. I could literally spend all day, all day. Like, you know, it's your kind of place when the first thing that you see is a huge Monstera Thai constellation. They have it here um, for $2.99. And I, I see back here, they have a ton of plants lined up all down there that I'm excited to explore. But then I didn't realize they also have some rare plants upstairs. So I, I'm just in heaven. Like I know this is going to be a go-to spot for me and not just that, they have so many cute little plant accessories. Like, sorry, I, my, I get a little high pitched and out of breath when I get excited. But look at all of these adorable little pots. I love it. And then they have all sorts of plant accessories and stuff like, I don't even know where to start. There's so much cool stuff here, but, um, I've been wanting to try this product, Arbor, and it looks like they have plant food, bioprotectant, um, biofungicide, and then insecticide. And I've seen people will like put this in a tub and then like literally wash their plant, like dunk their plant, and it helps get rid of mealybugs and all sorts of stuff. So um, that's a maybe. $23.99. They have some helpful spray bottles here. 19. I guess you could make this and put it in there and then it's like sprayed on the leaves as well. And then this is a beautiful Cebu Blue Pothos. Like absolutely massive. Look how gorgeous it is. Um, and it's $129. There's a Raven's Easy here as well. And um, a Burgundy rubber tree, really beautiful Diffenbachia. They have some cute little poinsettias and I see a lot of really adorable terrarium plants and I think they're like, um, the prices vary. These say that they're $5.99. There's Tradescantia and then cute little polka dot plants and some Syngonium. And then this is a gorgeous Diffenbachia, um, $39. And then really, really lovely Aglionema here. Look at this pretty leaves, $15.99. And you guys know I'm an earring gal and they have so many funky earrings here that I just like cannot. Look at these little mushroom earrings. Oh my gosh, they have like water bottle earrings. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, and these are cool too. 
little keychains with um like all sorts of great leaves on it they have like the Fichii and Syngonium I mean and then they have cool keychains oh my gosh look at these jellyfish earrings those are so neat little telephones gummy bear earrings this is a great place too to like buy presents oh my gosh look <gasps> little raccoons little trash pandas <laughs> adorable all right so let's take a look at some plants so this looks like an el choco yeah choco red 39 dollars <gasps> i love how much plant prices have come down it's amazing and then the, the philodendron El Choco Red is so velvety, so lush. I mean, it's really stunning and I love that they have it in this like clear pot. Here's a cute little spider plant, $7.99. And I love these, How to Not Kill Your House Plant book. Oh my goodness, there's so much to look at. They have all of these planty books. I have this one and it's pretty good. Um. Yeah, sorry, just like taking it all in. So this is a beautiful Shangri-La pothos. I don't see these around that often. Um, and the leaves are just kind of curled up like spinach, sort of. And this one's $35.99. And then this looks like a Prince of Orange. Yes, it is $15.99. These are Baltic Blue, $7.99. Another Prince of Orange, $15.99. And philodendron chordatums, these are $11.99, like very reasonable for a little gift shop, you know. These are philodendron plowmanii, and they're $24.99. Is this also, yeah, this is also a little plowmanii. They have some nice ones. These little cuttings are so cute, and it's nice that they come you know, with their propagation vessels. $9.99, this is a philodendron splendid cutting. It looks like it has some little water roots growing, $19.99. And this looks like a little skindapsis and a marble queen. Not sure if that's a Brazil or another type of philodendron. Probably Brazil, because this one definitely looks like a Brazil. <laughs> oh, look, these are really helpful wall clips for your plants, $9.99. And then down here are some pearls and jade pothos, $11.99. Just wanted to take a look at some of these pots. They're so cute. Look at this one. <laughs> Please don't die. That one's so funny. I like the little head pots, the little, um... oh, what a sweet sheep. I like the owl. I just realized every I was saying little every five seconds, but it's because everything's so cute and little. Some nice pots. This looks like a variegated Hoya Waiedia, maybe, $15.99. I love that it's in the little terracotta pot. I think that's so sweet. Then this is a little alocasia, $7.99. We have some interesting Hoya down here. This is a, a Hoya elliptica. And I'm trying to see how much the Hoya Elliptica is. $34.99. I love these leaves. Mm -hmm. Very beautiful. Hoya Tricolor. $16.99. Oh. And $16.99 on the Hoya Tricolor. Crimson Queen, $15.99. Look at those pink leaves. So beautiful. Here we have some Amedrium Silver, 35 on this one. Now this plant will get really um, leggy and viney if it's not given a ton of light. This is a cool little Philodendron Brazil. And here's a Ficus Shiveriana, 24. Um, Prince of Orange, 14.99. This looks like a Gigas, but those leaves are so long. Um, yeah, it is, 34.99. These are both philodendron gigas. This is Alocasia Jacqueline, and it's 29. Really lovely. Here's a huge, beautiful Monstera Deliciosa. 
I mean, just absolutely massive. And I love they have it set up with the moss pole. Isn't that nice? Look at all these aerial roots. They have some cool cacti. Like, look at this one. 29 Mammillaria. These are chocolate empress philodendrons. They're a lot like like Ring of Fire, Jungle Boogie, they have the long leaves. And the Chocolate Empress is beautiful. I have one, it's doing great, really getting lush and full. This is a J. Scandapsis and it's $17.99 and it has those solid green leaves. Just stunning, very easy care. They have some Mykins, I see Mykins here and also up here $15.99. These are adorable, these little misters. And I just noticed something that literally is taking my breath away. And it's a Monstera Adansonii mint. There we go. I lightened it up a little bit. So hopefully we can see. I don't want to touch the leaves too much, but I do want to kind of point out. You see that? The variegation on there? I mean, so beautiful. 119. Um, I mean, that's still expensive, but I mean, compared to what it has been in the past, that's really exciting and then here's a Peruso Verde 39 and they're nice large size ones oh my gosh look how cute oh how they have it there oh wow that is a huge syngonium oh my goodness oh there's plants all along this side as well goodness me plants everywhere all right so these are some beautiful Rex begonias $15.99 on those I like this one with like the green leaves and then a little Calathea mosaica here, 25, and Pilea peperomioides, $14.99. And then some Syngonium, $11.99 for the Syngonium. This is a um, frosted heart, I think. I can't believe they have this here. That's pretty cool. Yeah, $39.99. Yeah, definitely um, a unique, a unique house plant. This one is a philodendron splendid. $24.99. Look how beautiful that is. We have some Anthurium. This is Water Dragon and Thai Ruby. $21.99. And then this one over here is the same. $17.99. Wow. Okay. Philodendron Summer Glory. $24. You have some Painted Ladies. $29.99. And then Potho Silver Streak or Amplissimum. $24.99 back there. an Epifremnum pinnatum aurea and it is the biggest one I've seen uh, and it is 129 I believe look how beautiful that is they have a little pitcher plant and some cool little snake plants hanging out they have a ton of succulents and cacti here the small terrarium ones are two dollars I see some like string of pearls over here um, and look they have some variegated bear paws like, look how cute that is. How much are these? $9.99. I actually have this one. Um, mine got kind of leggy, but it reminds me of little flowers. I think it's so pretty. They have some Monstera Peru back here, $29.99. And then these are a little string of turtles, uh, $29.99 for those. And Philodendron Little Apple, $24.99. Philodendron Gigantium, $14.99. So interesting, it's like different plants than I normally see. Golden Violin, $24.99. Oh, they have a Spiral Cactus, $79. And Alocasia Aslanii, $24. Summer Glory, $29. Oh, they have a Pterodactyl Anthurium, $44. Look how fuzzy the succulent is. It's so cool. Philodendron Splendid, $29.99. This looks like it's a Monstera Thai Constellation, 99. 
There's some cool um, little snake plants. These are called Cleopatra and they are $29.99. Look at them, they're adorable. Kind of different as well, unique. Up here is a Euphorbia, that one's 49. This is a whale fin snake plant and it is 19. This looks like a huge jungle boogie. And it is 39. Have some Philodendron Moonlight, 17. And this is a Bietier 29. So crazy, like, love it. Um, $24.99 on this one. Maybe a Splendid, I'm not sure. They have some cute little staghorn ferns and some more moonlight. Uh, this one is a Gigantium. This Painted Lady is $29. There's some Ficus Shiveriana here, $24.99. Little Diffenbachias. And these Syngonium Frosted Hearts are just, mm, they're amazing. The leaves get can get really big too. Over here are lots of planty things. Um, they have all sorts of soil and, and soil um, substrates. This is a cute little alocasia. Then this is an Anthurium Fingers for 31. They have Painted Lady here, a nice sized one for 29 and a Ficus Audrey for 11.99. Just some more um, Ficus Lorata Bambino here, Anthurium Hucari Variegated. Hmm, interesting, 24 on the Variegated um, Anthurium. And then they have some Tiny Dancers. These are 31, then Diffenbachia, $14.99. And then this looks like, yeah, Epipremnum Aurea, $12.99. That's a steal on the Epipremnum Aurea. Goodness me, I love it. They have so much cool stuff here, I'm obsessed. Plant markers, thanks for making me grow. Some little plant stands, instant plant food little tropical magnets, liquid dirt. Big fan of liquid dirt. Um, pH meter, that's helpful if you're curious about your water and the pH for your house plants. Plant ties, $5.99. There's quite a lot in there. I use this a lot um, for my plants. It's like a Velcro, I like it's reusable and I'll use it to like um, attach my plants to little stakes and stuff. $11.99, Mossify Plant Tape. That's like the same thing. And they have some cool poles here and it has moss in it. So you just put some moisture on there and they're already set up. How much are these out of curiosity? Um, 27. A lot of people are making their own. I tend to use more of like these kind of stakes because I can't keep on top of keeping my moss pole um, like moist enough. So I just use these and then I, you know, my plant kind of climbs them and it, the leaves do get bigger. And then I just use this kind of thing to like help attach it. They have some other kind of plant care things. Um, this is what I swear by. I put it in every plant I bring home, the systemic granules, and the plant just absorbs the active ingredient and will kill off whatever bugs are on there and pests. Um, also insecticidal soap I love. Uh, Captain Jack's Dead Bug Brew is also really popular. This one here. It's pretty cool. Also, if you're doing a lot of propagations, rooting powder can help. Um, you can also put your cutting in with a pothos cutting and the pothos does release um, like a growth hormone, which will help your other cuttings to root. Oh my gosh, this is so cute for little propagations. So I'm on my way upstairs um, because the sign said rare plants upstairs and I do see quite a few rare plants, but look how cute these little um, cushions are. $19.99. I love them. Ooh, some cute plants. They have a um, Philodendron Pink Princess. Look how lovely, see, look they do it like I do. Like with a big stake instead of a moss pole. Hmm, I can't tell if this is a, I think this is a Jose Bono, which I just got one of those. And they're really beautiful. Okay, this caught my eye. I think this is a Jose Bono. And they have it in this like plastic bowl with perlite. That's really neat. 
ring of fire down there and a huge euphorbia. All right, taking a peek. They have some cool stuff, like looks like they have a lot of their, some rare plants kind of lined up here and plant artwork. These are really pretty. I've been kind of wanting to dabble myself in drawing some of my plants. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How cute is this? $30. Look at her. I think it's a philodendron pink princess. What do you think? All right, time for taking a look at the plants. Um, philodendron golden crocodile. $149. This is a variegated money tree. Do you guys know I've never even seen one of these in person? Yeah, you can see the variegation. I'm always hoping I'll randomly find one at like a big box shop because that does happen. Um, 349. And then this is a philodendron Florida beauty. Look at that gorgeous variegation. It looks like it's reverted a bit. 550. This looks like a Clarinervium anthurium. Uh, yep, 100. This is a Pariso Verde, 60. Oh, they have some cute little tortums down here. Um, 59. A lot of people are finding these um, at big box shops now. So keep your eye out. Syngonium Green Splash, 80. Philodendron Pastazanum Silver, 69. Not sure what this is. Philodendron Splendid, 29. This looks like a um, Philodendron by Penifolium Splash Gordon. Interesting, 60. How pretty that leaf is. Syngonium Strawberry Ice, ooh, 59. That's quite pretty. These are all Thai constellations and they have a lot of variegation, like for $60. Yeah, 99 for this one. This one's a BSEA and it's 29. This is a variegated Monstera Peru. Wow, I've never seen one of these before. Look how pretty that is, 180. I thought it said 80 and I was like, sold. <laughs> wow, really beautiful. This one's 150, Florida bronze. We have some cuttings in perlite here. Philodendron domesticum, 45 cutting. That's interesting. Jerry horn, 70. Philodendron. This looks like a Pariso Verde. I can't, can't really tell the prices. 39, yep, on that Pariso Verde. Huge Monstera tie. The one downstairs is a great deal. It's 2.99 and huge. Um, Philodendron Florida Ghost, 70 on that one. Florida Ghost, 70. Ooh, Epipremnum Amplissimum Variegated. I have one of these. It is fabulous. Big, big fan. Um, it does need a lot of light and it wants to climb. This looks like, oh, Philodendron Bicolor 200. Wow, I haven't seen that one before. Philodendron White Princess, she's a little cutie, 39. Orange Marmalade, 39. Um, but another variegated money tree, 150. And then this looks like a Gigantium Philodendron Variegated. Yes, 120. Wow, look at this one. Syngonium Starlight, 30. Crystal Hope, 50. Oh, she's a little cutie. Come here, you. That is cute. Tempting. They have some more Choco Reds. These are 39. And then this looks like a little Mykins.
I literally just walked past these two and didn't even like acknowledge this is a philodendron red moon 370 look how beautiful that is oh my goodness the variegation on that yeah this one is a philodendron strawberry shake but i don't see the price of it but it's beautiful zen botanicals just exceeded all my expectations i will definitely be back i mean what a cute shop i loved all the plants they had tons of they had plants i'd never seen before um and they had lots of cute little plant accessories i mean 10 out of 10 but i did walk away with a plant today and i I can't believe that I now have this plant in my collection. Um, I've never seen it at a store before, so that was a pretty big deal. This place had a lot of plants I'd never seen before, um, but time for the haul. I only got one plant because it was expensive. I got a Monstera Adansonii Mint. So it's a variegated Adansonii. And let's see if you can see um, like there's variegation on each leaf and it's not like super prominent white variegation. It's more, um, like mint, minty variegation. My plan is to get this one to my plant room and just blast it with light to really promote the variegation. And it was a hundred, hundred and twenty dollars. And to me, like, I don't really know the going rate of a variegated Monstera on the market right now, um, but it seems like, you know, not super inexpensive, but also like I've seen a lot higher in the past. So um, I also decided to go for it because I love Adansonii. They're great growers. They're absolutely fabulous plants. Like, look how cool this one is. Um, I love the shape of these leaves and I'm excited. The newest leaf looks rough. I was really inspecting the plant for pests and I didn't see any pests or anything in the shop. So I'm hoping that with proper lighting and nutrition that this plant will just thrive because most Adansonii, knock on wood, that I've had have done exceptionally well. I'm also tending to stay away from plants with really chunky white variegation because they don't seem to like the conditions in my house. Uh, I probably not enough humidity and the white part always crisps, crisps up and goes brown instantly. So I thought a mint variegated Ansonii was a good compromise because uh, it has variegation, but it won't go hopefully like super crispy. But yeah, I, um, I'm really excited about this one. Again, this was a super cute shop. I'll definitely be back. Humongous thank you to the person that recommended it. Like that was such a fun plant adventure day. Let me know what you would have picked out um, if you would have been plant shopping with me today. There were so many cool plants, like so many I'd never even seen before. Yeah, I, uh, I had a really fun time. So if you wanna see future plant videos, I post at least once a week, a lot of plant shopping, that kind of thing. Definitely subscribe. And again, we have a great community on Instagram. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day and that I get to see you soon. Thanks again for tagging along. Bye.